So you're playing versus a Sona. There's three very specific kill champions that completely destroy her in the laning phase. That's both Blitzcrank and Thresh with their respective hooks, and Leona with her insane engage potential on low mobility champions. Zyra can deliver an amount of poke that she won't be able to deal with, Taric with his stun and heals, and Nautilus if he's one of those that can hit Qs are other viable counters too. Sona's passive makes her abilities grant her unique auras for each ability she uses, and after casting three abilities, her next auto attack deals extra damage and an additional effect depending on what ability she's used. Her Q sends out two bolts that prioritize champions and the aura makes allies deal bonus magic damage. The power cord deals bonus damage. Her W heals herself and an ally and the aura also grants her and her allies small shields. The power cord reduces the enemy damage. Her E grants her movement speed and the aura grants allies the same movement speed as well. The power cord slows targets. Finally, the ultimate passively reduces the CDR of all of her abilities and when activated launches an irresistible cord that stuns every enemy hit by it for one one and a half seconds. Sona is a really poke reliant champion and cannot deal with champions getting near her or her allies. That being said, exhaust won't prevent enemies from bursting her down, so most Sonas take ignites to greatly increase their killing potential in lane. You can take ignite as well since it will prevent her small healing attempts and quickly execute what is perhaps the squishiest champion in league. As for her power spikes, it's simple. Level 1 with just her Q is a great trading ability, especially if she's stacked or passive when helping her jungler. Level 3, when she gets access to all her basic abilities and 6 when she can finally engage are other good power spikes too. Sheen is a great item to build as Sona and vastly increases her trading potential, but she can easily be denied by champions that have good mobility and can burst her down quickly. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, do not clump up in a line when team fighting. She is very squishy especially in the early levels of the game, so engage her when you have the chance pre-6 and she suffers a lot of mana problems, so be sure to be looking at that pretty blue line below her health bar. Ultimately, have fun doing it.